Attorney in Pittsburgh announced charges against two people from southwestern Pennsylvania in connection with the attack on the U.S. Capitol. Good evening, everyone. I'm David Johnson. And I'm Melanie Gillespie. That is Matthew Perna from Sharon on the left. The other is Jordan Mink from Oakdale. The arrests come one day before the inauguration of President-elect Joe Biden. And this is a live picture from Washington now, and security there is tight. We're going to bring in Channel 11's Liz Kilmer live on the breaking news desk tonight. And Liz, what do we know about these guys and the security? security threat moving into tomorrow. Hey, Melanie and David. Yes, yeah, so these two Western Pennsylvania men join a long list of people facing federal charges for their alleged roles in the historic insurrection. Now, Matthew Perna of Sharon, you see him here. He's accused of disorderly conduct after agents found videos of him at the Capitol. Now, social media also helped to lead them to Jordan Mink of Oakdale facing more serious charges after documents say he used a bat to smash a window. You can see that here at the Capitol and then steal things inside. Now, the FBI tells me they continue to investigate the chaos there while looking ahead to tomorrow, saying they are not aware of any significant threats here in our region. We have a number of investigations here, and there are going to be arrests here uh, brought on by federal charges. So it is it is happening as we speak. Two Western Pennsylvania men now join the list of individuals facing federal charges for their alleged roles in the insurgents in Washington, D.C. two weeks ago. Matthew Perna of Sharon accused of violent entry, theft, and other offenses, while Jordan Mink of Oakdale is charged with disorderly conduct, the result of an ongoing FBI investigation. Here in Pittsburgh, We've had a 24-7 command post set up since the event of January 6th at the U.S. Capitol. Michael Christman, special agent in charge of the FBI's Pittsburgh Division, says agents are also continuing to monitor for future security threats around the clock. Ahead of the inauguration, he says they haven't identified anything significant here. I asked if they're looking into any Western PA folks planning to travel to D.C. What I would say is, you know, we have, a, we have a very difficult balance, and the balance is enabling uh, First Amendment uh, rights, particularly the right to free speech, and, all, and then balancing that with um, the violation of federal law and protecting the public. Meantime, there is heightened security in D.C., with NBC News reporting that federal authorities there are even vetting National Guard members called in to protect the area. Certainly. Um, there will be lots of security and lots of scrutiny there. And again, um, I'm an advocate for, for First Amendment protected speech. And, uh, and I just think we can all come together and, and, and agree that when you violate the law, you should be investigated and you should be charged criminally. And the FBI urges anyone with information regarding the chaos at the Capitol or any future threats to please contact them. 1-800-CALL-FBI or you can visit their website, fbi.gov.